What is up, Fit Pros? Andy here from Fit Pro Business. Hope everybody's doing well. Hey, if you're new to this channel, please cons consider subscribing as I'm going to be delivering weekly value to you on what's working for me and, and my business and what's working for other fitness business professionals as well. I am your, the in the trenches fitness business owner that is passing on the knowledge that I'm learning um, from by myself and also what I'm learning from other fitness professionals that are working within their business. I want you guys to learn, apply what I'm learning and that I'm passing on to you as well as learn from the mistakes that I've made in my business. So hope everybody's doing well today. I'm going to talk about five ways that you can generate leads into your business and give yourself a boost if you're struggling right now with leads and driving people into your business. The so five ways that you can do that starting immediately and start seeing uh, the benefits of that. So stick with me as I share my screen with you guys. All right, let me pull that up for you. So, all right, here we go. So, the five ways that you can generate leads for your, your personal training business. So, the step number one is to reactivate your current list. So, you, if you've been in business for a while, you may have an email list or a previous client list, uh, email, phone number, text message. The best way to drive leads into your business right away is to reach out to your previous clients. I do this strategically, usually um, depending upon what promos I'm running throughout the month. Sometimes it's just a, a check-in. Hey, how are you doing? I hope that you're doing well. I hope your workouts are going well. It's a simple text message just to let them know I'm thinking about them. And a lot of times what happens when I send those out to my list personalized, I get a response back and I can re-engage them on getting back into the studio. So that's a way that I drive leads into my business every month, whether that's via email, text, or phone call. So reactivate your list. It's the easiest way. If somebody has done business with you in the past, it's the easiest way to get and they enjoyed your service, but maybe something life got in the way, finances, but now they're in the spot where they're ready to come back. The best thing you can do is pop into their mind and they're like, hey, I know, I know you need to get back in there. And a lot of times it's the way I drive leads right back into my business. So uh, step number one is to reactivate your list, whether that's email list, um, text message, uh, phone call, postcard. Also your Facebook friends that have reached out to you in the past or people that you know are interested in health fitness, just reach out to them personally, send them a message, say, hey, I have a, op a few openings. Are you interested in coming in for a free training session or a free week or what have you? Just to drive people in the door so that way that you have an opportunity to close them for your business. If you didn't have a chance that, um, to go back and watch the sales training that I did last week, I'll put that in the show, the notes for this video as well so that you can learn how to close uh, sales easy, more, more easily with the system. And then also follow up with leads that you got in the door, but maybe weren't ready to close with you. Follow up with them because maybe now is the time for them to get back into your business and do, are ready to do business with you. So step, step number one is to reactivate your list. It's the easiest way to drive business back into your studio or fitness business. Step number two is ask for referrals. And a lot of the ways I do this is simply one is just by asking. I know I put that on the bottom, but simply ask your existing clients that you've had for a long time simply ask them to, um, for a referral. Say, hey, I have, I have a few openings I'd like to fill. Uh, I know that you're a great client. I really enjoy doing business with you. Who do you know that is looking for to get in better shape or having some medical or health issues that can utilize my services? I'd love um, to speak with them. Can you um, give me their phone number and let them know that I'll be getting a hold of them? So simply ask. Your clients are care about, that care about you, that know that you're providing a service for them are going to be willing to um, refer their friends. So also another thing that we do is a referral contest and that's internal and we've given away like Kindles or an iPad for the winner. Um, that's something that you can do to drive referrals into your business right away. Also we do a bring a friend week and this is just where they can get a free week of personal training um, for their friend and a, a lot of times that spurs people on to want to bring somebody with them so they can experience what they're experiencing as well. So the referral script is just basically what I said. You simply have to ask, let them know that they're a valued customer and that you're looking to fill some spots. Be um, open and honest with them. So step number two is ask for referrals. Step number three to generate um, business and in, leads into your business is go live and I put edutain. So not only just go live and promote your business, but 
entertain and educate them on your service, provide value to your potential client or potential customer, and then end your edutainment or video with a call to action. You can do this going live and you're gonna get more views because Facebook and Instagram are really promoting live trainings or live video. So more people are gonna see it. Um, you have the option of boosting this. It's completely up to you and within Facebook, but go live regularly while you're trying to promote and generate leads in your business, educate them, and then give them a call to action to schedule a time to come meet with you. If somebody is educated and entertained by what you have to say and they are inspired to want to do business with you, give them a way and a reason and, a, and an opportunity to do that business with you. So also you can promote a limited time program on all of your social media platforms, whether you're running like a 21 day, um, 21 day program, a one month program, whatever it is that works for you, a low barrier of low barrier of low barrier offer that they can, you can generate business, generate revenue into your business right away. And then the last one is level up your engagement with and follow up when people like comment or share something that you post on your business page to follow up with them, let them know, thank, first of all, thank them and then see if they um, would like to come in um, to do business with you. Step number four is promote an event or workshop. You can promote, promote a healthy living, healthy eating workshop that you hold at your studio for free that people come in, you teach them how to eat properly. You can promote a how to reduce pain and stress with exercise. These are just examples of some of the things that you can create a free workshop or a free event within your studio. You can also have in a special guest that comes in. It could be a massage therapist, nutritionist, or a um, physician that comes in. These are ways for you can create these free events on, on Facebook, promote them, and get people into your studio. Ultimately, the goal is to get people into your studio. And then also, you can also do free challenges, um, whether that's a steps challenge, push-up challenge, nutrition challenge. This is, again, a way to drive rate drive awareness and get leads into your business. So step number four is promote free event or workshop. And the last one, which is um, not actually a marketing piece, but this is something that is um, maybe new to you guys. Um, it's not new to me, but it's called the law of procession. Basically the gist of it is bodies in motion affecting bodies in motion. And the simple explanation is unexpected things that happen when you take action towards a goal. And what happens is if you get active in your business and you're playing at a level seven to 10 in your business in regards to marketing and generating leads and really going after it and seeking new business, new business is going to find its way to you because you've said it, you've put it out there. This happens for me. I can't tell you how many times um, this has happened to me where I am looking to generate business. I'll put a goal number of what the amount of leads that I want to get for the month, whether that's 20 um, or I want to get 10 new starts. And I kid you not, every time I'm really active and looking towards and driving towards the goal that I have written down for leads and generating new business, I hit it every time. So the law of procession. So just to recap, the, four, the five ways you can generate business right away for you in your personal training studio and improve your income is reactivate your list, ask for referrals, be more active on social media, promote a free event or a workshop, and again, just get active and play at that level seven and the law of procession will take care of everything else. Hope you guys got value from this video. Please consider subscribing as I'm going to be delivering these to you guys every week. And this is the five ways that you can generate new leads and new business into your personal training studio or fitness business right now. Again, this is Andy with Fit Pro Business. Uh, you're in the trenches, uh, fitness business coach. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.